Congratulations on your new Roku Express. Everything you need to get up and streaming is in the box. Inside, you'll find your Roku Express streaming player, remote, adhesive strip, which you'll definitely want to set aside for now. We'll get to that part later. Power adapter, micro USB cable, HDMI cable, or composite cables if you have a Roku Express Plus, batteries, and quick start guide. First, depending on your model, find an available HDMI input or composite input on your TV. Be sure to notice which input you choose as we'll need to tune your TV to the same source. Next, again, depending on your Roku model, insert one end of the HDMI cable or composite cable into the corresponding input on your TV. The other end goes into the Roku streaming player, just like this. Use your TV remote to toggle the button labeled input, source, or something similar to the same input you use to connect your Roku player. Don't worry, you won't see anything on screen just yet. Now, let's power up your Roku player and remote. First, connect one end of the micro USB cord into the Roku player, and the other end into either the USB port on your TV, or use the included power adapter to plug directly into a wall outlet. In a few moments, the Roku logo will fill your TV screen. No luck? Be sure you're tuned to the correct input on your TV. Next, insert the included batteries into your remote and make sure they're seated firmly and positioned correctly. For the best experience, you'll want a clear line of sight between your remote and the front of the Roku player. When you land here, use your remote to select your language. Now, let's connect your Roku player to your network. Select your wireless network and enter your wireless password. Remember, your password is case sensitive. When all three checks are green, you're good to go. If a red X appears at any time, for troubleshooting help, go to go.roku.com slash express and look for, I am unable to connect to my wireless network. Your Roku player will download the latest software so you get the latest features and channel updates automatically. After the player has downloaded the latest software, you'll be prompted to set your display type. Press OK on your remote, and your Roku player will automatically determine the best resolution for your TV. If your screen is displaying correctly, select Yes, screen looks good. Then, confirm your resolution. Once it's been set, you'll see the activation screen, showing your link code, which you'll use online to link your Roku player to your Roku account. From a computer, laptop, tablet, or smartphone, you'll enter this code at roku.com slash link. Already have a Roku account? Just sign in. If not, create one now. Set a security PIN code to prevent any unwanted purchases. You'll be required to enter a payment method to make it possible to rent or purchase content right from your couch. You will never be charged without your explicit consent. Finally, add some of your favorite channels now so they'll be ready to stream on your TV. You can always add more later and of course, remove any you no longer want. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click continue to complete the activation process. On your TV screen, you'll see your selected channels getting added to your Roku player. This process takes just a few minutes. Now you're all set and ready to stream. Okay, back to that adhesive strip. We'll use it to mount your Roku Express in a position that works best for your setup. You can set it next to your TV or attach it near your TV, to the side, on the top, or the bottom of your TV. For optimal performance, just be sure your remote always has a clear line of sight to the front of the Roku player, which means you don't want to mount your Roku Express on the back of your TV or inside a cabinet. 
For more information such as troubleshooting, tips for optimizing your network for seamless streaming, and more, visit go.roku.com express. Happy streaming!